Due to COVID-19, many businesses and facilities across the nation were forced to shut down. In Tuscaloosa, one local facility is now opening for the first time since then. WVUA 23's Lacey Beasley joins us live with more. Lacey. Chelsea, this facility has worked hard to open today and their workout room is now open for their members. The Benjamin Barnes branch of the YMCA opened their wellness center for the first time since March and the center is taking precautions to keep members safe. All members can wipe down equipment before and after use. The staff will also clean several times a day and a max of 12 people will be allowed inside. All the machines have been repadded and new equipment is coming in January. CEO of the YMCA Tuscaloosa Jeff Knox says the staff is excited to welcome their members back. This has been a a lot of fun for me to get to know the staff and they're so excited they've been wanting to open but I wanted to get some things taken care of from a safety standpoint prior to so they're real excited to have members coming back in we've been running child care but now it's an opportunity to get our adults back in the building to many of the members the center is more than just a building it's become a second home today I met with one volunteer here at the Benjamin Barnes Center and he's dedicated most of his life to the Y he's played here served here and made the best of friends here he says COVID-19 has not and will not stop him from coming I'm gonna be up here every day mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stop yeah I'll be up here every day Abrams basically grew up attending the Y and the people here have become his family. Even in a season of social distancing, he is still sure to keep the people at the Benjamin Barnes Center close to him. It's really like a family to me, you know, because uh, I don't have any brothers, you know, so the guys that I went to school with and, and so, you know, it really means a lot to be here and fellowship with, you know, with the people that's that work here. The center is expecting to begin their youth basketball in January. Live tonight, Lacey Beasley, WVUA 23 News.